Welcome back to Technique Wad. Today we're talking about using one and a quarter squats to build bigger, stronger legs. Okay, if you don't know what a one and a quarter squat looks like, it looks like this. It's a basic, usually back squat, but of course you could do a front squat or an overhead squat or any other type of squat you wanted to, where you go down under control, you get to your bottom position, you come back up just through your sticking point, and then you go back up and do another rep. So it kind of looks like you're getting a little bit of a bounce, just like that. Of course, you're not actually bouncing, although you could if you're a weightlifter and you need to work on that part of the movement because that's a part of the sport. Uh, if you're not a weightlifter, you only need, need to practice bouncing in the bottom position like that. Uh, what I like about one and a quarter squats is that it gives you more time under tension through your sticking point. So the part of the movement, the part of the range of motion that is the most difficult for you, you're getting more time under tension specifically through that range of motion, okay? And so if you're getting more time under tension uh, specifically in that part of the range of motion, then hopefully that's the part of the range of motion that's gonna get the most benefit from the exercise. And if you can get stronger through the hardest part, if that's the weak, the weak link in the chain, then if you can get stronger in that position, your max will go up because now you're stronger uh, in the part that matters, so to speak. So when I started the video, I mentioned that it kind of looks like a bounce and that I don't really think you should bounce unless you are a weightlifter. Uh, that said, I put these in the same category as, as tempo squats. I use them as a tool to teach people to squat really, really well with good technique. Uh, you're tempoing it on the way down, slow and controlled. You're gonna go up through your sticking point. You're not gonna gain a whole lot of speed because you're not going all the way to the top. You're only going through the hardest part of your range of motion. And then you're gonna tempo back down. And then on the way up, you're gonna try and go as fast as possible again. The whole time, you should be very conscious of your posture. You should be very conscious of keeping an upright torso, very conscious of pushing your knees out, very conscious of your foot position and where you're pushing through your heels slash midfoot, depending on who you are. That, that type of uh, repetition uh, really helps reinforce good technique. And I've seen it work very well with a lot of our lifters. Of course, this is a fun variation on, on squatting and doing full range of motion, you know, five sets of five, five sets of eight, you know, eight sets of two, whatever, whatever it is, doing full range of motion, normal front squats and back squats is always going to be your staple if you are a strength athlete, weightlifter, powerlifter, crossfitter, whatever it is. So this is not to replace those basic movements. You want to do the basics the vast majority of the time, but if you're someone who's been lifting for a long time and or you feel like your training is getting stale, uh, you hit, you've hit a plateau of sorts, you're not putting on muscle mass, you're not getting any stronger, you're looking for something to do that's a little bit different, kind of same, same, but different. It's gonna help you with snatches and cleans, it's gonna help you with heavy squatting, but it's not the same old thing that I think one and a quarter squats are a great option. Programming wise, it's, it's good to keep in mind that you're not just doing single repetitions. So if you see five sets of five, one and a quarter squats, it's not really five sets of five because each repetition is more than a single repetition. because I'd say it's almost more like two repetitions than it is one repetition. If you do five sets of five, you know, you're not gonna be done with the set in 15 seconds. You're gonna be done in the set in 30 seconds. You're gonna be, you're gonna have, <coughs> <coughs> good God, almost died. Okay, uh, programming wise, you gotta keep in mind that if you're doing five sets of five on one and a quarter squats, it's not really five sets of five. It's more than one repetition per repetition. So uh, say five sets of five normally has more of a strength bend to it. And it takes, we'll say 15 seconds to do a set of five reps. If you're you know, tempoing down and going fast on the way up on a heavy set, maybe longer even, maybe 20 seconds, depending on how, how heavy it really is for that set of five. If you're doing one and a quarter squats though, you know, instead of 15 or 20 seconds, now it's gonna take 30 or 40 seconds. Again, depending on your tempo and all that. So now something that kind of appeared on paper to have more of a strength bend to it has more of a, you know, a hypertrophy bend to it. If you're looking at kind of classic rep ranges, which of course there's more to the story than the, the, the textbook definition of those repetition ranges. Uh, but that said, uh, if you do five sets of five, you might get vastly more sore on, on do one and a quarter squats than you would if you were just doing regular old back squats because you're getting more time under tension, uh, again, especially in the sticking point part of the range of motion, which is the hardest part of the range of motion. So uh, it's gonna get you pretty good. I've done a lot of back squats in my life and the, every time I, I cycle in one and a quarter squats, it always makes me super sore, uh, especially uh, for me in my glutes. Try those out. Let me know what you think. You can hit me up on Instagram. My name is Doug Larson. I'm Douglas E. Larson on Instagram. Also Shrug Collective. We got Barbell Shrug every Wednesday, uh, sometimes on Saturdays, plus all kinds of other shows throughout the week. Technique Watt is 
every Sunday. Uh, so check that out. We also have the program vault. We have 12 online training programs, four long-term programs that go for longer than a year. And then we have eight short-term programs that are about three months long that we, we've intentionally written to be add-on programs. So if you have programming already and you wanna just add some extra shoulder stuff or some extra cardio, aerobic stuff, whatever it is, uh, we have add-on programs, eight of them in the program vault. Uh, you can check that out and get all the details if you go to shruggedcollective.com backslash vault. We'll see you another day. Shrug listeners, welcome to the Shrugged Collective Program Vault. Over the last six years, we've been leading the charge in online strength and conditioning programming and coaching. And for the first time in the history of the Shrug Collective, we're combining our 11 best-selling long-term and short-term accessory programs into one membership site called the Program Vault. From Olympic weightlifting to strongman, leaning out, nutrition, you name it, our 11 best-selling programs are yours for $47 a month. Get to shruggedcollective.com backslash vault and you will find immediate access to our 11 best-selling strength conditioning programs.